Hey Wildcats, Kaylin Abbott here and here with me today is Jesse Abbott, a 22 year old senior in fashion merchandising who has taken the time to sit down with the Campus Herald and share her experiences of being a transgender woman. Now Jesse, how old were you when you first decided to make the changes of genders? I think I noticed there was a big change when I was about five or six years old. Um, I kind of noticed something was really different about me, and then as I got older and learned kind of what transgender was, when I was, I'd say, probably 13, 14, just getting into uh, high school, is when I really kind of started to notice that something was off, so that's when I decided that it must be I'm trans. <laughs> and were there any difficulties that you encountered? I think one of the biggest things was that I was so young. And I think that's what makes it really difficult is, you know, I was still in high school, I was still living under, um, you know, my mom was living at home. Um, so it made it really difficult to try and transition, especially in a small town. Um, I think that I had a really supportive community and a great group of friends and family that really helped me um, kind of come out of my shell and be myself. And um, I think that was the best thing about it. And how was your family with the city? Situation. My family was actually really good. I'm very close to my mom. She's been so supportive, my number one supporter throughout this entire journey. And she's been great. She's really been supportive. And um, I have some other family that's also been really supportive. Been very lucky. How many procedures or surgeries have you under undergone to get to where you are today? Um, I've had two major surgeries. I had a um, breast augmentation in July of 2014, and then I had my uh, forehead done, which consists of a brow bone shave, orbital wind shave, um, a brow lift, and then a hairline lowering. And I had that done um, in August of 2014. And then I had my lips done um, in December of last year as well. So it hasn't taken too long then? Um, it hasn't taken too long. There's definitely more procedures that I'd like, um, cosmetically, facially, um, and everything. But I think it just takes time. <laughs> but yeah, I was able to do it pretty quickly. All right, and have you been treated differently by people after undergoing procedures, like, I guess, friends, per se, have they? I think, I mean, I feel a lot more confident in myself, and I think that that kind of shines through and people see that. What advice do you have for boys and girls that are looking to undergo transgender procedures or thinking about undergoing it? I think the biggest thing is you really kind of need to be in that right mindset. And it's difficult, especially in the beginning as a trans person, because there's so much medical stuff that you have to go through, um, whether it's seeing therapists, whether, whether it's getting prescribed hormones, um, or even seeing surgeons. That can be really difficult. I think it's really good to find um, kind of a community with trans people and really try and find people who are kind of going through what you're going through at the same time so they can recommend um, either doctors or um, other kind of groups that can be helpful. All right, I think that's just about it. Thank you so much, Jesse. Thank you, I appreciate it.